Josh. I'm one of the mates on the boat. Um, I'm one of the guys you'll be spending a lot of time with on a trip. So let me give you a tour of the boat. Intimidator. Big white beast. If y'all step on with me, take a look at a few things. Begins, of course. So come over here. We have our fish boxes. Enough to hold anything. A beluga whale. Um, a bunch of tuna fish. Any other weird things. We have four boxes in total, which is what you see back here. And we come over here, we have our live well. Some little fishes. A few more of our fish boxes. This is the biggest one. Sometimes I'll sleep in here if I really smell bad. Over here we have our green egg. Cook anything on here from steaks to pizzas. I think even cinnamon rolls one time. This is it? It's still hot. It's been like five days. So here we have our yeti. Bring any drinks you want. We do prefer that you don't bring glass though. Just a safety thing. You know, glass breaks in there, you never see it. Hands cut up. Over here we have our ice maker. Make all of our own ice, which is very helpful for those three day trips. As you can tell, it's very dry. Hard to open. Big ol' ice maker. Gotta keep this thing moved over quite often. It uh, operates by hand pump. Left side, water in. Right side, water out. This is very useful for whenever the fishing gets exciting. Instead of having to run all the way in, you can just go and be right back out and not miss any of the action. Let's take a look inside the boot. Over here we have our bait freezer. Common bait freezer. Put bait in it, it freezes it. Over here, we have our uh, test run. Perfect for anything, we cook mac and cheese in it, biscuits, toast, anything and everything really. Just don't put a shoe or something in there, it's kind of weird. Um, over here, we have our, actually new cushions. We got new cushions this year. Um, got new bags, very soft, very nice. Tons of lumbar support. Um, brand new, very comfortable. Allows for about 10, 12 people to sit in here. While you're sitting here, you can watch satellite TV. We have satellite TV, anything above channel 200, it'll confuse the two satellites. Uh, we also have a sound bar, nice surround sound, hear anything and everything. But usually don't want to be watching TV, rather be fishing. So, step over here. Fully functional kitchen, microwave, we have um, a skillet that we cook on a lot. We do a lot of things on that. Breakfast, uh, vegetables, any and every utensil you could ever think of, as well as a freezer. A few little things in there right now. And a fridge. We usually keep this stocked with condiments, um, half and half, things for coffee, things to cook with. Over here we have a coffee machine. So every morning when you wake up, we'll have coffee made and we'll keep it made throughout the day. Some people I know like to drink coffee the other day. I'm one of those. So always keep the coffee ready. We do have air conditioning on the boat. Keep it going at all times. Down here, we have our semi-private rooms. Uh, there's about four bunks per room. Top, bottom. We provide pillows and sleeping bags. We keep them washed regularly. Two more. Here we have our bathroom, which also includes a shower. Toilet, sink, shower. It's even one of the cool ones. Look at this. Look. Yeah. Oh, I got water on me. It. Step down here. This is our crew area. This is where we will be sleeping. Uh, got our bait rods from when we go bait fishing. We call these sabikis. You use these, you drop them down, catch bait fish. Very fun. Um, besides that, that's about enough of the inside. Now we'll go to the front of the boat and take a look at here. As you can see, we got life rafts. We are an inspected vessel. Means every year we have to go through a Coast Guard exam, make sure we're safe and sound. Uh, keep our boat tied up. We got um, guardrails up here. We don't usually fish from up here though, 
Sometimes during Kobe season, we may come up here and if we see one, we'll throw a line at them. Up here is the wheelhouse. That's where we're going to be going next. So up here is the, uh, the wheelhouse. We have tons of rod holders here. Uh, I think it's like 22. Up here, we have our outriggers, which allows us to put lines out on the side of the boat. Mainly they're just for holding lines. Allows you to run more lines off the back whenever you're tuna fishing, trolling, whatever, what have not. Up here is our um, tuna tower. That allows you to do is you can drop them up there and you can take a look farther out, see things. So if you see, oh, well, there's a uh, floating tree or a fish over there, it gives you a much better view up top. So now we're going to take a step inside. Uh, not many people get to come up here. Um, it's actually one of the rules we have, mainly because it's a mess usually. Just always frantic, always in the middle of a bite, trying to keep things going, so constantly trying to do tackle or rig something up. In here you have uh, the most important part of any trip, the pretzels. These keep the captain happy throughout the trip, which makes a really good trip. Um, then we have our trolling rods, our live bait rods, and our kite rods. These we mainly use for tuna fishing or if we're going after mahis, sailfish, any of those pelagic species we usually use these. They're our heavy duty rods. <laughs> Over here we have two more bunks. This is where co captain sleeps. This is where captain sleeps over here. We don't mess with this. <clears throat> here is the chair. Very comfortable. Allows you to spin and rock and do whatever. But this is from where the captain drives the boat. As you can see, it has all his electronic systems. Everything's modern, up to date. Best of the best. Uh, we have radars over here, fish finders, the all important TV. Um, but from here is where the captain will stay most of the trip. Every once in a while, I'll come on down, but usually stays on here, trying to keep you on top of the fish. All right, that's about it for the tour. If you want to see any more or know anything else, uh, you can give us a call at 251-747-2872 or go on our website at fishorangebeach.com and go to the Info Request tab. Thank you for coming with us today on the tour. i got to get back to work.